Hey guys, it's your boy, Johnny Nerd Out. Got a video here that I hope will help some of you guys. Sorry, I'm not angry, I'm not scowling. The sun is just so bright that I have to squint. Doing my best Clint Eastwood impersonation. Impress, impressionation? Impressionation. But yeah, so I wanna to talk today about troubleshooting, power, just all types of errors that you're having on your e-bikes. So if you're new to this channel, I am Johnny Nerd Out. I'm a professional e-bike builder, repairer. I just wanna share some of my experiences with you guys on fixing bikes. I've never, knock on wood, never not been able to fix a bike. And there's no reason why you shouldn't either. The, the worst case scenario is you just replace the part. There's mainly three parts to a bike that can go wrong. You got your battery, your controller, or your motor. You have offshoots from there. You have your throttle, your display, and your wiring or your cabling. So essentially there's like six things that could go wrong. But if you just go one by one and rule each one out, you'll figure out what's going on with your bike. First of all, what I like to do is, I'm just gonna do a troubleshoot. Let's just check power's not working on your bike. I like to do is go to your battery, see if your battery's working. Are you, are you able to turn it on and off? So I take this battery off. Are you able to turn it on or off? Okay, if it turns on, okay. Let's go to the next thing. I would go to check all your wire connections. Check every single connection and see if it's tight. Unplug it, take a look at all the pins, see if any of the pins are broken, bent, missing. It happens. After you know that all connections are good, go back to the battery just because it turns on. Maybe it's not making a good connection to your cradle. Check your cradle. Are all the pins there working good? Do they all look good? Do they look burnt? Sometimes these pins, every time you take this on and off, it could create a spark. If you do enough sparks, you'll ruin your connection. You have to file it down or put a new connector on there. So take a look at those. Do they all look good? And every battery may look different, but it's the same, same idea. Okay, if that's good, I would Take a voltmeter to this battery. Make sure it's putting out the proper voltage. 48 volt battery should be putting out between 41. That's the very lowest. I would say it should be putting out, if it's fully charged, it should be putting out at least 53 volts minimum. 54 volts and a little bit over if it's fully charged. 52 volt battery should be putting out about 58 volts, 58.8 if it's fully charged and it's brand new cells. Um, 36 volt battery should be putting out about 42 volts. So if it's putting out that, that voltage, then you know the battery's good. Check all your connectors there. I've seen so many times one of these tabs will be broken or bent or just corroded. It's been sparked too many times and it's it just needs to be cleaned or replaced. Next, if you have a 500C display like this, check and see if you're getting that little yellow light on right there. That means your brake sensors are cutting off. And if you have hydraulic disc brakes, I bet you that's the culprit right there. Your magnet has probably got misaligned or magnet fell off or any number of things. So I would try disconnecting your brake, your brake cutoffs. If you have, if your bike has brake cutoffs, disconnect them. Now try it, see if it, see if your bike works. Right there, that probably, that probably will take care of 70% of your problems. If you wanna go on from there, start with the cheapest replacements first. I would replace the display first. Find a cheap display, maybe borrow one from somebody and try that one. If it's like a Bafang or something, there's Bafang displays everywhere. Just try plugging in a new display. Uh, it could be your controller is fried. You could replace your controller. And finally, you could take apart your motor. If it smells like maple syrup, and it just looks dark, you probably got a burnt out motor core. And yeah, just really check those wires, check those connections, see if there's anything that's been severed, see if there's anything that's been disconnected, see if there's any pins that are just, it's causing an interruption in that connection. I'd say that is probably 80% of all power problems and operation errors. It's just a bad connection or a cable that got severed or something that's just not making a connection anymore, whether it's a sensor or something. So just go and check, check your, check your speedometer. Make sure that the, the little magnet is making contact with your speed pickup. That's another one. Um, another thing I've seen a lot of is your little battery cable that comes off of here. 
where it, where it meets up with the controller on here. That can come disconnected. Just connections. And yeah, it could be your throttle. Could be, that's a very, that shouldn't affect you not working though. And obviously I know this isn't like a super comprehensive troubleshooting video. There's just, it's impossible to do, but hopefully this will give you a good head start as to what the issues are with your bike. You know, without actually seeing a bike in person, sometimes getting your hands on it and hooking up voltmeters to different things, checking signals, getting more in depth and advanced, it's impossible to know. All right guys, thanks.